Hi, everybody. It is still March 13, 2019. Parents blame elementary school cell tower after fourth student diagnosed with cancer. Okay. Um, well, I it's maddening. You know, I have experience talking to parents about the dangers of these electromagnetic frequencies coming from cell phones, from cell towers, from uh, their gadgets, the Wi-Fi in school, and my experience, those parents didn't care, they didn't do the research, they just thought, oh, she's got to be a conspiracy theorist. Okay, well, we have, and I posted a video on cancer cluster in a community where they were in close proximity to a cell tower. And a subscriber just recently sent me, uh, I guess it was a blog, about an eye cancer cluster, I believe in North Carolina, elementary school, which was in direct line with Doppler radar pulsating its dangerous frequencies. I can't, I can't find that. I thought I bookmarked it. I looked all over. I can't find it. So if that subscriber hears, uh, sees this video and hears what I'm saying, if you could leave the link below in a comment, that would be helpful. A fourth child diagnosed with cancer at a San Joaquin County Elementary School, Weston, uh, parents believe it's because of the radiation caused by a cell phone tower. Could it also be that they're sitting in schools with Wi-Fi routers over their heads, modems, um, looking at all of the gadgets, coming home to a Wi-Fi home with a smart meter? God, we have been at this for so long. And yes, more and more people will come down with cancer. We haven't. We have a population now that used to be very healthy, it no longer is healthy, and one really, uh, you must be brain dead if you're not looking at environmental factors causing so much illness, disease, syndromes, chronic pain, all of these things exponentially increasing diabetes, cancer, uh, autoimmune disorders, neurological disorders, uh, well, Parkinson's, dementia, dementia now. Oh, it's no longer a disease for the old, but now a disease for the young. How about that eye cancer cluster? Doppler radar. I posted a video recently on the health effects, biological effects of radar. And we've got Doppler radar pulsing these dangerous frequencies all over the place because they use Doppler radar to manipulate, modify, intensify storms. So um, it's incredible, or it's indescribable. It's really tough. It's one of the hardest things I've been through. Um, cell phone tower harming children. Yes, kids shouldn't be guinea pigs and we shouldn't be taking chances with the children's lives. Okay, same with vaccines. They're not safety tested. It's put on the market without safety testing and they collect the data on how many come down with adverse effects from the vaccines. Um, this is not just Wi-Fi. It's there are so many poisons now children are subjected to on a daily basis. And yes, it is. It's infuriating. It's frustrating. It, it's maddening. It's heartbreaking to see these children be destroyed. But they're not only destroyed by the school administrator or the one who puts up the cell phone, uh, who has the authority to approve uh, that these cell phone towers get placed on school property. It's the parents. You've got to do the research. You know, this is not information 
that is only um, only those of us who are conspiracy theorists and those of us who are uh, quote unquote truthers have access to you have access to it and mainstream media has reported enough on the dangers of wireless wireless cell phone towers emitting frequencies wirelessly that penetrate the walls of the school and then you have the Wi-Fi in the school frequencies coming from that Wi-Fi router that's right above your child's head and all of the gadgets that they are staring staring at all day five days a week hour upon hour and then they come home to a Wi-Fi at home smart meter gadgets more gadgets all right 24 7 these children are now in an unsafe environment from school to home and when you talk to parents about this they don't do the research so the parents are the most responsible here you know this and parents you have the power to get rid of the Wi-Fi doesn't mean that your kids won't have access to the internet in school it will just be hardwired far safer than the Wi-Fi but try to get them to do the research um, get rid of the Wi-Fi in your home you are look children are the most vulnerable because their skulls are still soft they have not their their brains are still developing these frequencies cross the blood brain barrier and cause an awful lot of interference in the natural processes of the brain so look yeah I have been doing this for a long time so many have been doing this for a long time so many who have the qualifications to speak out like Jerry Flynn who is a retired Canadian Army captain who spent 22 years in its electronic warfare unit you can watch this video here he's talking about the dangers of smart meters the pulsating frequencies of smart meters but it's true with the pulsating frequencies coming from cell phone towers and from Wi-Fi and from cell phones this is what Jerry Flynn said these are unprecedented unbelievable times in America's history one can only presume that the president that President Obama himself and his entire administration are deliberately being kept ignorant of this uh, systemic corruption that is ongoing within the United States regulatory family of agencies most notably the FCC the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers and the International Committee on electromagnetic safety they're all telling you this is safe it's not safe it has look I posted a video on this investigation posted the nation hey liberal progressive Democrats you love the nation read this article how big wireless made us think that cell phones are safe a special investigation uh, the disinformation campaign and massive radiation increase behind the 5G rollout. What is this about? This is about Tom Wheeler, our ah, former head of the FCC. Prior to that, he was the president of the Cellular Telecommunications and Internet Association, CTIA. He was the wireless industry's point man in Washington. Okay, what happened? Back in 1993, David Raynard sued the NEC America company, claiming that his wife's NEC phone caused her lethal brain tumor. After Raynard uh, appeared on national TV, the story went viral. Oh my God, a congressional subcommittee announced an investigation. Um, investors began dumping their cell phone stocks, and Wheeler swung into action. Oh my God, I've got to stop this. A week later, Wheeler announced that his industry would pay for a comprehensive research program. Yep, love those industry-funded studies that always come out and say, hey, 
it's safe. All right. Um, George Carlo. Who is George Carlo? Well, he was the he was chosen by Tom Wheeler to head the WTR, which it was the Wireless Technology Project. It was a $28.5 million funded, industry funded study to come out uh, and please manipulate the findings so that we can say that this Reynard guy uh, is off his rocker and the cell phone did not give his wife a lethal brain tumor. George Carlo, he is an epidemiologist, has a law degree. He's conducted studies for other controversial industries like the chemical industry. Uh, and he headed a study funded by Dow Corning on breast implants and his findings? Oh, they pose minimal health risks. He said low levels of dioxin that were leaking from breast implants, low levels of dioxin, the chemical behind the Agent Orange scandal, were not dangerous. So, if you're Tom Wheeler and you need some whitewashing going on, you hire George Carlo. So he was, Carlo was the front man for an industry whitewash. Well, guess what happened? He didn't whitewash. He didn't whitewash. He actually told a closed door meeting of the CTIA's board of directors, whose members included the CEOs or top officials of the industry's 32 leading companies, including Apple, ATT, AT&T, and Motorola. Motorola. He sent letters to the industry's chieftains on October 7, 1999, reiterating that the wireless technology project's research had found the following. The risk of rare neuroepithelial tumors, sorry, um, on the outside of the brain had more than doubled with cell phone users. Correlation between brain tumors occurring on the right side of the head and the use of the phone on the right side of the head and the ability of radiation from the phone's antenna to cause functional genetic damage. That was a definite positive. So what happened? Well, Carla wanted to do the right thing and he urged the CEOs to do the right thing give consumers the information they need to make an informed judgment about how much of this unknown risk they wish to assume. Do you think Tom Wheeler was happy with that? No! So he got on it and trashed Carlo in the media. Wheeler would go on to chair the Federal Communications Commission, which regulates the wireless industry. He agreed to an interview for this article, for the article that I'm reading from right here, but then put all of his remarks off the record. With one exception. <clears throat> his statement that he has always taken scientific guidance from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Blame someone else. Which he said had concluded the weight of scientific evidence had not linked cell phones with any health problems. The telecommunications industry buried Carlos' findings. Our government agencies had not done its own safety testing. The FDA simply went along with Tom Wheeler and perhaps the FDA was told, hey, look at our studies after Carlo came out with those findings, those findings sure as hell were not presented to the FDA. The FDA just said, okay, let's put cell phones on the market. Money, 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 money. Tom Wheeler, he's the guy that came out. The 5G rollout. Remember all of those videos? Yes. We're not going to study it. We're not going to regulate it. And we're going to make billions 
billions from 5G. We're not going to study it. We're not going to regulate it. We're just going to roll it out like they did with cell phones. Money speaks. They don't care about our health, school uh, administrators or the boards, school boards. They don't care about your children's health. You have to get on it. You're the only one who will protect your child. You're the only one who will protect yourself. You've got to do the research, get informed. Parents come together and get rid of Wi-Fi and cell towers off the school property. Do it. Otherwise, you're looking at your child, who may very well come down with cancer. All links are